What up peeps? This is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Today I'm going to be talking about the CW's Legacies <clears throat> or Julie Plex Legacies. Anyway, so Legacies is the second spinoff of the Vampire Diaries TV show. Uh, to go back, the Vampire Diaries lasted eight seasons. It spawned a spinoff, the originals, which lasted eight seasons. And now it's on to its second spinoff, Legacies. <clears throat> so, The Vampire Diaries, first of all, is so rich and detailed the story and everything. And I've also covered this in um, a past review video. So I'm not going to get too far into The Vampire Diaries. But, um, Legacies... <clears throat> So, without giving any spoilers away, because I'm not a spoilery kind of person, but a lot of stuff went down, obviously, in The Vampire Diaries. It lasted eight seasons. A lot of stuff went down in the originals. Um, and Legacies is the next generation, like, the children of the people of those shows, and it's um, created, again, by Julie Pleck, and it is a progressive story, and um, so... What I really love about Legacies is that so far it started out better than the originals did, um, but like the first season, I don't want to say started out slower, but it does what usually what usual first seasons do. They like start off slower and then they get into things. What I like about Legacies. What I love about it is that, yes, it's connected to these other two great series, but you can really watch it without watching the other two. I mean, yes, I do highly, obviously, recommend The Vampire Diaries at least, um, but you really should go watch The Vampire Diaries and the originals first. Um, however, if you don't, and if you start this one first, Legacies, you don't have to necessarily watch what happened before, because they touch up upon, they, um, have flashbacks, or they mention things that have happened, so you don't... So, what they touch in their story in Legacies, um pretty much covers, you know, some of the important things that, um, are, in part, are important for their story. So, it kind of lets you know what's going on kind of thing. <clears throat> um, but, anyway. So, Legacies goes back to Mystic Falls, like it was in The Vampire Diaries. Um... And it has characters from both the originals and the Vampire Diaries, but they are not the focus point. the 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 children of the the children of the people that were in the previous shows are the main focus, and it's really good. Uh, the special effects are really great. The only real complaint that I had was not giving too much in a way, but the dragon in like the first episode or whatever it was, the first two episodes, the second episode. Um, I mean, the special effects weren't really great on that, but the dragons are very rarely ever done extremely well. Um, but the quality was decent, um, better than any Sharknado movie, so, eh, that's a plus. Um, but other than that, the special effects and makeup artists and stuff have done really great with their creatures. Um, now, even though the originals and Legacies is part of the Vampire Diaries universe, they are totally separate. Um, 
the only thing that they have in relation is like the style or you know some of the stories that have happened and stuff like that but they are in the, within the same universe but they do have their separate stories like the marvel movies for example you have your own character arcs and your own character stories but they are together in the same universe which is why they always end up in um the you know in the group assemble avengers movies anyway trying to explain it where it's easy to understand um but they are entirely different from one another and i really do like that they change the format a little bit to legacies where it's a creature feature of the week kind of thing like one um episode you can get a dragon another one you can get the necromancer another one you know change it up a little bit um so they have their little stories within the giant big story, which is entirely different than the Vampire Diaries or the originals, where they just told the same story that progressed throughout the season. This one is, they have that, but they also have their individual little, you know, off stories and stuff like that, um, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> and I really do love the way that this one is directed i love that it's out in the country and not city based like new orleans is for the originals um i think that that's one of the real things that really i was i mean new orleans is obviously beautiful and that didn't take away from the show at all it's just, I, I love the whole setup of Mystic Falls more um, for a show that has to deal with vampires, werewolves, witches, etc. <clears throat> I really do love that um, they do... that they do keep the emotion from the previous series in legacies um like they're light-hearted at moments but they have everything from comedy to action to horror and all that good stuff um but i do like that it's a little bit light-hearted more light-hearted than the previous two shows um but when it gets to the emotional gripping parts for like episode six prime example um it really tugs at your heartstrings um it is a really great show um so i go on these different uh fan forum things and everything and a lot of people complain about the actress that played for hope michelson when she was on the originals or whatever first of all i think that she's perfectly fine at least in legacies uh let the girl get her footing geez <clears throat> I loved her. She is probably... She's probably my favorite in all of Legacies. Um, she's so sweet, but she is a total badass at the same time. Um, I don't know what you wouldn't like about that. Um, and the actress portrays it uh, well. Um... <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, they put a lot of time and energy into it. I definitely love the hype and the setup that they're going into for the next season and everything. I'm really so excited about that. So... I can't wait. I think that Julie Plek did another amazing job, and that's why they keep her on. And thank the gods, they, uh, the CW Network um, renewed Legacies for Season 2, because I can't wait to see what happens next. And Julie Plek is such an amazing showrunner. It's ridiculous. Um, and jokingly, I always joke with my friends, because when... Julie Pleck 
wants to rip at your heartstrings. She goes all out. Like, I bawled during the episode Mom Be Dearest, uh, episode 6 of Legacies. Bawled my eyes out. Bawled. Like, ugly cried. It was, in, it was just really heartbreakingly sad. And I have... I messaged my friends who haven't seen it yet or anything like that, and I didn't give anything away, but I'm like, you know, I was in the middle of ugly crying, and I was like, Julie Plague must have been traumatized in her life and everything, because she's, like, projecting it on everybody else. <laughs> I'm like, she's either been traumatized, and she wants everyone to deal with the same situation, or she's... She loves emotionally abusing people. <laughs> um, because... Man. Like, the Vampire Diaries, I cried so much. And because there are so many emotional moments throughout the show and everything. Because you really do get attached to the characters and everything. Because that's how great the actors and actresses are. And how well everything is written. And... Um, yeah, Legacy has had that moment where I'm just like, Julie Pleck is evil. She's a spot of evil. She's, um. <laughs> and then I joke around how I must love the abuse because I keep coming back for more. <laughs> but, um, joking aside, um, the writers and Julie Pleck and everybody and the actors and actresses, they really do. And the director gets all up in it, like, make sure that you catch the emotion of the scene or the episode or whatever's going on, which I absolutely, I hate and love equally. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you haven't checked Legacy out, so it airs on the CW Network. I think the premiere date for season two is October 10th, I think it is, at eight or nine. <clears throat> and season one is on Netflix. <sighs> Sorry, it's been a long day, guys. Um, also, um, obviously check out the Vampire Diaries and Originals before you get to Legacies. But if not, they're all on um, Netflix. And the Vampire Diaries are 22 episodes a season until the final season. Um, and what I love about the, the Vampire Diaries and the originals is that they were not canceled shows. They, Julie Pleck and the writers literally wrote the story, beginning, middle, end. And nothing was canceled it wasn't dragged on past the point where it should have ended they ended on an extremely high note uh, th and there's no possible way that they could have came up with a better ending than what they did with the vampire diaries um same thing with the originals they wrapped it up they didn't cancel anything they just finished the story because that's they covered everything that they wanted to tell and they they had a beginning, middle, and end for their story. So whether that was eight seasons like the Vampire Diaries or five, they still got their story across. They still got it done. Um, I really hope that Legacies last longer. I hope that it at least gets six seasons. Um, and because I, I, there's so much potential. That's what I really love about... Um, about legacies is it's not the originals where it felt constricted to one city and you can only do so much with one city and a group of people well groups of people fighting amongst themselves the vampire diaries yes they were based in mystic falls but they sometimes did travel across the country and meet different people different locations everything was you know they switched things up. They always came up with new, like, uh, 
myths and creatures and stuff, and it flowed and everything. But you can only do so much with the originals, especially since it already spawned off in the Vampire Diaries. They covered a lot in the Vampire Diaries. And then they made their own show where it was based in New Orleans, and it just felt more limited and compacted versus being able to let loose. Um, Legacies is a show that feels like it can let loose because nothing is holding it back. Yes, it is based in Mystic Falls, but they do have that creature feature of the week. They do have their short-term and long-term um, stories built up, and they can literally go anywhere. There's so much stories and myths and everything that they could um, cover and everything. So <clears throat> that's what's exciting about Legacies. <clears throat> and it has potential to be great, just like the Vampire Diaries. I'm not taking anything away from the originals. I just don't think that the originals was anything close to the Vampire Diaries. I think that it was a great show. I think that um, it was solid. It, it stood on its own two legs. It was a million times better than most of the shows out there. But, like, the Vampire Diaries, for me, just... They were on a whole nother level. And... Um, it was so rich and so detailed, and the actors and actresses were just so great, and just everything about the Vampire Diaries I absolutely love. I absolutely love. Uh, season 7 was really the only eh season, but even that one was a good one. It wasn't great, but it, it was still a solid good. Um, but other than that, it was... A, a superb series, and it is not a surprise that it's already working on its second spinoff. <clears throat> but Legacies has that potential, and I really, really do hope that they can go the extra mile. Um, because, first of all, the cast is young enough. Um, everybody seems to be uh, passionate about it and very involved. Um... It is really exciting to see original characters in there from the Vampire Di Diaries and from the originals that have survived throughout the series. Um, some play key roles, some are just in, um, you know, guest appearances, but it's still really cool to see nonetheless. Um, I really, really can't wait until Legacy of Season 2. I highly recommend the series. Um, especially if you like different myths and creatures and folklore, um, because it pretty much covers all of it. <clears throat> that's that's something that this show, even better than Supernatural can do, like this one can really, 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 like the Vampire Diaries and Legacy is really... They do it so intelligently and so amazing, I can't even deal with it. <laughs> um, but props to Julie Pleck for making this show happen and to Mark Pedowitz, the, the uh, president of the CW, because it was uh, an obvious intelligent decision to make sure that this show goes forward. Um, so... That's really all that I have to say. I really like the acting. I love the styling. I love the story. I think the actors and actresses are really great. Um, I love the chemistry between all of them. Their bickering is hilarious. Uh, the romances are cute. Um, the emotional moments are really emotional. Thank you, Julie Pluck. <laughs> um... And there's a lot of action in in Legacies. There, there's a lot of action. Um, so there's that. I can't wait until season two. So until then, guys, have a great day. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the con give this video a two thumbs up. And um, make sure you comment and let me know what you think about the show. Okay, have a great day.